there's no problem you can't solve by throwing more at it. If it doesn't work, <laughs> then just keep throwing till it does. <laughs> well, this guy's philosophy. Is the next big thing. A highly effective wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes come true. Oh, wish ritual. <laughs> I wish I knew this before I pulled on Yai's banner. I didn't get her. I got C5 catching. <laughs> but we still do it anyways. He used this wishing ritual and the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. Oh, okay. Free money. Uh, nope. Uh, don't know. His whole bed was filled with... Wow. 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 Calm down. <laughs> Let's go ask around right now, shall we? Yeah, why the sudden urgency, well, Paimon? Well, really is true. Then just think of all the Mora Paimon could... I can see your priorities, Paimon. <laughs> Mora and then our twin. Uh, hear my summons, right? <laughs> yeah, he's practicing that <laughs> ritual. <sighs> I'm helping him make a wish so that he can move past it. I didn't think you guys would believe in this kind of thing. You guys are editors from the AI publishing house. That guy is a writer. I mean, I obviously don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Junkichi never listens to an outside opinion. I see. <laughs> so all I can do is go along with it. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first started out? <laughs> I think Miko is pressuring them. He just appeared out of nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. Miko must be curious about this. There is a novel out there that is not published by... But everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Oh, they're believing something fictional. But yes, if there is proof... Everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strangely. <laughs> so that is a trade-off. What's so surprising about that? Sound a little suspicious. Yes, Paimon, very sus. Oh, light novel. It is the one from a teaser, huh? Teaser, teaser. That is what she meant by writers these days. I see, and now that makes sense what the teaser was about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's so many things here. Miko, listen. Okay, there's already someone. So happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. I think it is the same one we're talking about. <laughs> With like an expert input on something. Oh? You have to convince her to help my brother. I am also searching for my brother. <laughs> so he once asked Sensei Domon of the Make Yoshi Sui art to take him on as a disciple. Oh, Domon. Oh, now he's okay. He has got his vision back. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. Oh, so he must have used that incantation or whatever, that wishing ritual. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? <laughs> she got him. Kato, whatever your name was, <laughs> these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in fact, they are experts in resolving didn't bother. all manner of strange <laughs> Remembering and supernatural his phenomena. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. She dumped it on us. Oh my god, we go. Yes, you just realized. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? How is it unfair? You're the Miko. Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request Okay, fine, you me got too. me. <laughs> Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Oh, okay, let's go. He just sits there alone talking to himself. <laughs> that is actually disturbing. Kato, whatever your name was, <laughs> given the circumstances... Again. <laughs> <laughs> no need. While what's his face is handling that, Come we'll on, take Miko. a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. That's not what we heard. Yes, that's not what we heard, indeed. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> Miko is happy. We heard a slightly different version. <laughs> well, he dared to lie in front of Miko. <laughs> in the past, he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day. How did he went from lying around sunbathing all day to being a pro swordmaster? Not only that, but he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. How are you people doing that? Hmm. Sus. Hmm. Quite impressive. Indeed. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, What is that stuff? Keep that away from me! And then ran off. Oni! <laughs> right there, we found an Oni. I think he has some Oni magic or something about Oni or demons on him. He ran away from the tofu. He doesn't like beans. Lady Gucci. Esteemed exorcists, finally I found you. All right, sorry for leaving that place. <laughs> yeah, jump. Oh, don't just cut to that scene. Melomin will die. 
<laughs> okay. They nice and slow. Lumin no. Not a okay. Cool, cool so far. He's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it is. It is very heavy all that water. It falls on me. Hey, listen. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? <laughs> What are you talking to yourself? Uh, <laughs> that is so weird. Can you feel the feeling <laughs> of manliness? <laughs> Found your own school. Aspire to something so lame. <laughs> I don't think that is your brother. It is like someone is possessing or something. Manly man. <laughs> I can't feel the. Manliness. I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. Ah oh, no! So someone is there possessing him. I'm gonna die. No, help him. Who goes there? Yep, that is definitely not Shingo. Oh, poor thing. That is what you think of. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? Nico, help him. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? Oh, it's about that school. The two of them wanted to start. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Yes, you know. You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? Yo, hey, how can you try to trick Miko? No way, Miko will not notice it. But uh, I. Yes, you failed. As you wish. You did summon it together. Oh, so the both of them did that wishing ritual thing. <laughs> They summoned some kind of spirit. Yes, <laughs> it has been revealed to you. Hey, you just have to recite an incantation at midnight, and your wish will be granted. At midnight, that sounds beyond suspicious, man. His whole personality changed too. Why did you wait till now to get him some help? Huh? He'll lose his skills with the sword. Well, of course. And then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. Ah, uh, he still did it just for his dojo, not for his brother. <laughs> Let him keep his sword skills. That was very selfish of you, yo hey. My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. We had this coming. <laughs> he knew from the start that he was possessed by a spirit. That is why he went there. Uh, that is why he wanted Miko's help, not our help. It makes sense. What? What is that? That is the ghost, the spirit. <laughs> And look. Now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. <laughs> Nico, stop traumatizing the guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Save me! Save me! What do we do now? <laughs> we do nothing. Oh, we go. But you, little one, just a quick fight, and this will all be over. Ooh! I can't sprint. Damn it! Water is too deep. Excellent! Woo! What a rush! Well, <laughs> he enjoyed it. <laughs> I have a rough idea. Ah, we can talk about it later. Shingo, are you all right? There's a little seeping up there. I just noticed. And the voice kept talking about manliness. <laughs> This is the funniest part. <laughs> manliness. <laughs> You're not manly enough. <laughs> And thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. Yes, we are the exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. Wait, there is another hilichal up there. Oh, okay. I think the guy killed them. The manliness spirit. Would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? I want to know that as well. Why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Miko doesn't want to fight. Okay, that's how she's always been. She even made us do that sacred sakura thing. Oh, they would have been fine. Oh, <laughs> she was exaggerating. Is that so? As usual. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? A master of the sword, but doesn't like tofu. It was an oni, wasn't it? An oni sword master. Paimon's got it. It Good was job, a. Good job, Paimon. We actually figured something out. <laughs> it actually seemed like it was trying to train Shingo to become bolder. Yeah, he was a good spirit. He actually made Shingo sit under the waterfall to train his body and everything. He was a good one. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm. What do you mean, Paimon? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Oh, yes, I forgot the incantation. I need to know about that. That is why we came to you. I really wouldn't fret about it. It will go away eventually. Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? 
Oh, bye, Mon. You're worrying about everyone. What about your Mora? <laughs> you wanted the Mora first, didn't you? What do you think, Traveler? If Miko says it's fine, we probably don't need to worry. I finally found you. Oh, Kuroda, why have you left the house? Kuroda, what are you doing here? I know that he's supposed to be at Yai Publishing House. I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please take a look. How did you find her in the first place? In the middle of the forest, somewhere in the middle, of some waterfall or something. What the hell? And why are you here <laughs> to report the sales at the waterfall? Let me see. We're losing market share. Okay, now she will take interest <laughs> in that novel. Both of you, back here now. Oh. <laughs> A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Define serious. <laughs> Just what is that supposed to mean? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? <laughs> she is using Paimon's words against her. Am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Uh, <laughs> Paimon... Yes, she's manipulating you, Paimon. No, you don't get it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. Okay. The Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous. That would be the most obvious one, Paimon, but I don't think that will actually work. Oh, wow. Your first guess and you got it absolutely... <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Poor Paimon. Yeah! Uh, wait! That wasn't it! Obviously not, Paimon. We would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. Of course, Paimon. A Guji advertising everyone that the book is dangerous, that obviously means the incantations are real. <laughs> No, Paimon, that's not how it works. <sighs> that means there's nothing we can do. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Paimon. There is something Miko can do. I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. Yeah, so she will also make a similar book. <laughs> I think that is what she means. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next, next big thing. I see. So she is doing that. <laughs> She's making her own version of that book. That is how Yai Miko wages war. <laughs> Go to the submissions event to listen what the readers like. Oh, there's a reader. Tetsu, what do you like? It reads well and everything. It's just a little slow paced for me. Mm, pretty much how Genshin Impact works, I guess. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action packed right from page one. Oh, it is like one of those OP main character enemies. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. I see. Kitsuno are also part of yokai, so whoever this guy is, the writer is, he also knows yokai well. Hmm. He must be something, someone like it's like Yai Miko. Uh, what are you thinking? Reincarnated in another world, encounters with airborne emergency rations. The work shy bard, the dragon and the grand adventure. Oh, three choices. Yeah, first one. It is a long one. That is what the trend is, I guess. No, no one would ever <laughs> go for that. No matter how you tried to play it. Okay, okay. Hmm. Out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. Is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? Exactly. <laughs> how do you cook it? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Paimon. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> We're actually going forward with this. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Whoa, Let's move chapter, on to chapter one is done. <laughs> when this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. Yes, that's some grass people. Just the basic kind will do. Why? Give me the good one. Don't give up now. For the Paycheck, hmm, speaking of Mora. Oh, oh, does this mean your inspirations come back? I turned into a Jewish of hatchling. I <laughs> took a trip to leave a tour guide turned out to be Lex Lapis. Whoa, that is the stylish reference. Uh, I think the first one, I like the first one. <laughs> I give it a 9.8. Yay, 9.8 out of what, Miko? 
We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Stuff this. Come on, let's get rid of this Vision Hunt Decree. Wait, is that Ito's line? Farewell Literature Hunt Decree. <laughs> Starting as a Resistance Soldier. Surprisingly normal! I know, right? It is not very... Mmm, captivating. I think it's rather good. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the Omamori. Oh, we're writing the exact experience. <laughs> Let's change it to... The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. <laughs> this will just make people <laughs> believe in your <laughs> spell. <laughs> they will use this spell to <laughs> ask for weird stuff. <laughs> I see, so this is how she plans to beat that novel. This yeah. one, huh? <laughs> I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Ah, I see, I see. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. Yes, Miko, you know that. <laughs> Do you really think this is gonna work? We are all professionals, Paimon. That's right. No problem. Be confident in your work. Please come back in three days for the results. Okay. Thank you all for your submission. Wait for three days. Uh, okay, wait for actual three days. One, two. That is two days. Uh, oh, okay, no, no, that was that it. those were three days. Yes, yes, we made it. I was, I didn't move an inch. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. Oh, <laughs> Miko, that is smart. Well, I better go and prepare too. Miko. <laughs> well, feeling less worried now. Very smart. Wow. They're talking about. Yeah, I, I don't think there is a moonless night ever in Taiwan. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Wait, what? She's planning something. I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. How did you find him? Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. I see. In frustration, he shouted out. Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. After that, he lost consciousness. Why do you know so many details about this? <laughs> and you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> it sounds very dubious. Yes, it does. <laughs> Too late to back out, traveler. Oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. <laughs> All right, then. Oh. A miraculous, the miraculous adventures of the traveler, Miss Hina. We got the promotion. Goro did it. <laughs> what is that, Paimon? Why are you covering your face like that? That is a JoJo pose, isn't it? I think that is a JoJo pose. So many JoJo references in this game. So Sucrose. Ah, oh, they are actually pretty similar. But Sucrose is like very young. Does seem to be similar. Maybe it is that fox in the dandelion sea kind of thing. So. Maybe Yai yeah, is in Mondstadt. Oh, uh, not here. Kitsune were in Mondstadt, or they went to Mondstadt, or they went to Inazuma from Mondstadt. Maybe that is not just a fiction novel after all. There are Kitsunes in Mondstadt. The Dandelion Sea. I want to know about that. Anyways, Miko. But Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yay, Miko. Hmm. She has much bigger ears. They're so big. No oh, treasure holders. I will just leave you alone. Oh, you saw me. Embrace it. Oh, oh, oh. I see a lever. I go up again. The lamp stand begins to move slowly. There is another place here. Three dudes are chilling. Another lamp. Wish. Open. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you. There isn't much around here. Chicken. All I have to do is activate one more and it is up there. If only I had facial. Oh, come on. I could have done it so fast. That thing doesn't move at all. <gasps> okay, there's a hole up there. I saw it. I see, I see, I see, I see. No, oh, 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 I see. These things are hard to spot, okay? Why do they have to be like this? And. Can't move that one. Can't move that one as well. Can I move this one? I can. What are the treasure hoarders doing there? I will leave them. They are good people. 
प्लीज बी नियर टू दैट वन नोट टेल मी इट इज बिलो मी इट इज बिलो मी ओ इट हेज कम डाउन एंड आई थन ओ दिस मिरर एट द बैक आई हैवेंट सीन मिरर इन गेंशन इम्पैक्ट Paimon skip is golden in that. You sure you're not planning to yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. Oh. <laughs> She warns. I see. The the spirit will possess me then. Why is there no stars or shiny thing in the reflection of Paimon? Paimon's reflection has nothing of it. How is it converting white into golden? That is weird. Wow, that cape looks so cool. It has a red stars and red everything with golden keep mark. Hmm. I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <laughs> Maybe I should start caring about them first. It's like she's sitting inside the painting. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. I don't have primal gems for that. <laughs> okay, I wish for my brother, I guess. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand oh, okay. Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? Ah, please help. <laughs> Anyone help me write chapter 4. <laughs> Oh there it is No love me <laughs> No Oh you Miko will have to fight the travel <laughs> That would be cool No that there Wait this is not the traveler <laughs> Getting a taste of my own medicine Someone is inside the traveler now <laughs> This is a first Oh love me looks so She always looks at Dora. It will just matter what happens to her. Oh. Oh, all of Inazuma into a brutal bloody war. Oh, no, that is not happening. Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. No, it is not easily. The traveler will get you, don't worry. I sense yes, great power within her. Oh, that face. I've never seen Lumin make that face before. <laughs> Who <laughs> in big doing the evil laughs? Wake up! Quick! Wake up! We got to stop him. Come down by mon. We got this. <laughs> this body now belongs to me. No, we lost the traveler. Now what we got to play with? <laughs> hey, come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind. Come down by mon. Miko, think of something. Miko! Miko! <laughs> Miko must be laughing. She must be so happy right now. This is like the pinnacle of amusement for her. It is. It is. It is. She is so happy. This is what amuses her. Yep. Lumin looks like a boss. Is why my nobody is helping now. What are you going to do? You're laughing. Too perfect. Oh she knows him. Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> Rakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Of course she would know. He's a fellow yokai. Miko is a yokai. They're all yokais. When I suddenly heard someone yelling, "Please, someone, anyone, <laughs> help me write a truly <laughs> this amazing so novel." This feels weird when Lumi is speaking. It. I was a mighty powerful <laughs> Daiko. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. It is like a small wish for the other yokai. If the wish matches with that person who is doing the ritual, the yokai will come and do it for him. It is a win-win situation. The person gets to do it. Yokai is satisfied with his final wish as well. It's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. Oh, it was all done to just to teach the humans. <laughs> Miko, you agree, don't you? She would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Yeah, she is a kitsune. Mm, not only that, Irakusai. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Oh, I must <laughs> say it feels good. 
A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Ah, there we go. Urakusa is the one who said it in the ice demo, or the ice tease, or whatever it was. Are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? Oh, I think this is the meeting, the yokai meeting he talked about. Arrangements are being made. So, I'll be on my way now. Happy Lumi. All right. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. <laughs> nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Hey, Lumin is back. Are you all there? Three, two, one, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. <laughs> brain is intact. After all that, you still have more errands for us? Well, I am the number one errand girl, I guess, girl, traveler <laughs> in all of Tevat, okay? <gasps> Hey, me go better with some more or something. Oh, come on. Your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Paimon's paycheck? My paycheck, Paimon, not yours. Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. Yeah, please explain that. I have a feeling it is something with the yokai meeting, but... It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hyakiyako is just a gathering of the yokai. Okay, it was that. It was the meeting of yokai. Cool. They used to meet in the past. It is somewhere in uh, her lore, that weapons lore that Miko has. They used to gather around and then share stories. There was also Kitsune Saigo and Miko used to sit on her shoulder. It's a spell to help calm the ley line memories. Oh, there are spells to calm ley line memories. What? Having the shrine maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. Better to get them out of here. Maki, leave this place. Descend the mountain? And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. Yeah, because we want to see the yokai, not because she's safe. She can take care of herself. It seems like Lady Guji places great trust in you. Where the monsters at? Oh, over there. That is very far away. Oh, more of them. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of them. <laughs> How is there a monster that is just a shogunate somewhere? Miko, we are back. We have taken care of the monsters. Oh, got see. Oh, it is around the moon. That is a very clear moon. So many! They're everywhere! Huh? Yes, the memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. Oh, I can hear them. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just, <laughs> Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the moon. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. What is it that camera angle? come to an end <laughs> since you're sorry to see them leave why don't you do the recital along with me oh what is the recital oh hakushin cause of this enchantment in reverence i perform this rite in reverence i perform this rite to be a guiding light Recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, 
and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this right to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Oh, Miku. Just a little, of course. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Are you okay? Really, I. <laughs> you can treat me to a meal. Okay, I will give you some fried tofu. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. A meal, okay. it's a tea. Well, see you soon then. Let's go. Ouch. No traveler. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the traveler not released yet? <laughs> no, it's not coming. I don't think so. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. <laughs> You mean Genshin Impact? Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I mean, we were treating the meal by Mon. She can. Okay, I see. <laughs> I did, yes. You're paying after yeah, all. Yeah, I thought so as well. <laughs> we are the one paying, so she can just start eating whenever she wants. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Wait a second. Did we receive the paycheck? I don't think we received the paycheck yet. They're the ones picking up the bill later. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Nico, you are outrageous. Well, she's not a good person, you know. She's a kid, so she's supposed to be like that. <laughs> Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning. Shouldn't have let our cart down. I know, Paimon. Uh, <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces and right now. And she's happy now. about it, uh, as Too usual. Perfect. <laughs> So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. 